Hello, everyone, everyone. I am here from my review of American Horror Story Season 10, Episode 9. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, if you're one of my people, welcome back. So let's get into these comments. Miala Oyen YouTube says, Macaulay is home alone. Child, why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> Finn Fontaine or Fontaine says, I miss my people too. Where is Evan, Francis, and Macaulay? We need them. I'm like, yes. Where are they? I, I need my Evan Peters. I need my Francis Conroy. We could have brought back Billy Lord, Macaulay Calkin. What was the name of? We already got. She played Doris the first part of the season. We got her. We got Ursula. She's now playing Calico. But like, where are my people at? Like, so we just got a little. We just got Evan Peters and Francis Conroy in the first part because we only have one episode left after this one. So I'm not sure how things is going to work on that front. But I'm like, where are my people at? But shout out to Miala Oil on YouTube and Jen Fontaine for commenting on my videos. Y'all, let's get into this video, this review. So Eisenhower, he is still trying to... He's still trying to figure out what he want to do. He don't want to be out here sacrificing, you know, all these Americans for technology. He just don't want to do that. So in walks floating Mamie. That's what we going to call her too. She is no longer floating. She is under the control of the alien. And she was like, sign that little, um, sign this document for that little technology. Because he was like, we ain't going to do that for some little technology. Um, the microwave oven, that is not little technology, sir. That is something major that we're still using today. You couldn't just pop, you know, popcorn like that back in the day. You couldn't put a TV dinner in the oven. You couldn't warm up no food like that back in the day, sir. So we're not going to be talking about little technology. I don't know what else technology that they, you know, was giving them. But it looked like they was giving them a little bit more later. He was like, why don't you just take them without, you know, just go ahead and take them. Why you need to sign something? They, um, you know, floating Mamie is talking about something. I'm going to need you to sign in case y'all back out this deal and we can show the American people your signature. He's like, that's blackmail. The next thing you know, floating Mamie should get the dog on it, bleeding and all that stuff. He's like, all right, I'll do it. He signs it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Mamie, she falls to the ground. No, float Mamie falls to the ground. And it's like, oh my goodness, you've all come to my birthday. I'm like, child, it ain't your birthday, but okay. I mean, maybe it was when she was, you know, before, you know, she became floating. Mamie was, you know, taken over by the aliens. She was planning her birthday. I didn't know she was the one that made birthday parties for adults a thing. Granted, I don't know a lot about history. I've been out of school since 2003, y'all. So a lot of the stuff that, you know, I learned in school. <laughs> It's no longer there. So y'all gonna have to forgive me. But my thing is, you y'all wanna abduct all these people. Okay, can we do it away? Like maybe how about this? What if we go into the prison system and the people who are on death row, like, okay, your date is this day? Okay, we gonna little we're gonna do a little fake, you know, execution, then Take them and send them to the aliens. Somebody who got life in prison. Why we got to do get these innocent people? Now, when I, I want people who actually did the crime. Not somebody who did not have a good enough lawyer and they were sentenced to all these years. We don't want that. We don't want the person who was, you know, being questioned for 12 hours, not getting anything to eat, drink, or use the restroom, and was lied and said, if you say this, you can go home. No, I'm the person who actually did it. You know, put some people in the arms of the angels, was doing that kind of stuff. Those people, y'all should be abducting them, not doggone it, just little girl who's in the fourth grade and her family. No. So we get a new alien. His name is Valiant Thor. I 
churches don't, uh, secret service over here, they just don't learn. They quick to pull a gun out and ready to shoot these aliens. Did y'all not see what happened before when we had a floating alien that had taken over somebody's body? Them dudes got their head exploded without a weapon. You think it's going to be different for you? I'm going to need them to stop. So he was like, it's been a few years and like they had been waiting like, okay, what are they going to do now? What technology are they going to bring? It looked like it was either an iPod Nano or an iPod. I mean, an iPhone. I couldn't really tell. At first, I thought it was an MP3 player, but it was like, no, you know, you communicate and all that stuff. I was like, it's not an iPhone. Was it an iPod Nano? iPod, iPod Shuffle? It looked like some type of Apple product, if you ask me. Yeah. So, the aliens, they didn't have this bunker built <laughs> under the White House. Now, the person is like, uh, how did this get here? And I'm like, yeah, how did this get here? Well, they had it built in case of a nuclear attack. But no, they just down there making a little human hybrid, um, the hybrid human, the human alien hybrid babies. I would have a question like, uh, well, maybe you know they had already got his like palm scan because he like pushes stuff back and it scanned his hand and all that stuff and it opened up a door. The, I'm assuming this, so I was like, how y'all getting these people in and out? And taking them to, like lower levels of the White House. So I'm assuming that this um underground bunker where they making the human alien hybrids is not just under the White House. It goes a, f a a good distance, like a few miles. So they probably got like a warehouse over here where they taking the people, bringing them in, bringing them downstairs, and then taking them under the White House. But yeah, he gets so. It was, sun, I guess, very unnerving to have, you know, them just down there working on people it, right up under the White House. It's like, we're going to have to send y'all somewhere else. Y'all facility is already small as it is. Y'all need more room. Where can we send them? Area 51. That's where we're going to get y'all all this land and y'all just do what y'all need to do and just stay out over there. So, after he does that, he come upstairs. Mamie is hunching Valiant Thor. And he's like, oh, Mamie. You know, clutches chest, falls out. He wake up in a bed like, oh, my goodness, that was a dream. And she's like, that was no nightmare. Uh, that was a dream. He knows how to work a woman's body. I'm like, no, you and your short bangs need to stop, ma'am. I was like, no. <laughs> But she was like, um, that was no different when you saw me with my, my massager in the tub. I was like, what's going on? I did, I did not appreciate this. But I guess he had been at her cheating before. It's like, technically, he not human. Her words, not mine. So, it shouldn't be a big deal. <laughs> I'm helping, you know, like, the government. I was like, no. Ma'am, no, stop it. Stop it now. Now they done messed around and put Marilyn in the arms of the angel because doggone when Kennedy couldn't keep his mouth shut. I'm like, you should, you in government. That's supposed to be, shh. We don't tell nobody else. If you're not in the room, you don't need to know what's going on. You should not be telling your mistress what is going on. So because... He didn't told her and she was out here spilling the beans. Now she in the arms of the angel. Ciao. So now we in present day. And I still ain't got these people's names right, but I guess it don't matter because we only got one episode left. Homeboy that was, you know, going into labor. They do a C-section on him with some type of laser. He's basically paralyzed and communicating with half alien, half human lady. And 
to their minds. That's how they, I don't want to say it's telekinesis, because it ain't telekinesis when you can move things with your hand. He got the Professor X going on where I can talk to you through your mind. So he's like, oh, oh, they, they took the baby. I was like, okay, so cool. We not feeling no pain. Baby's not busting out of stomach. Okay, okay, we, we here for this. Then they didn't mess up around and doggo and slit the baby's throat and then drowned it. He was like, my baby, he get up. Mind you, just got cut open. They ain't had to do the laser that you know, closes you up. He getting up because he ready to fight. Because like, that's my baby. I can feel my baby. You know? So she was like, uh-uh, pass out. So he then got knocked out. But now he over here crying because, you know, he ain't got his baby no more. He's like, I can't feel my baby. I was like, I guess, you know, that was emotional. You was pregnant for two days. And you was emotional because of it. He over here talking to his boyfriend talking about that. They took our baby. I'm like, first of all, it's not your baby. It's not y'all's baby. It was your baby. Your boyfriend ain't had nothing to do with this baby. He ain't had no... He didn't participate in the making of this baby, sir. <laughs> but I guess what you thought that y'all was going to raise the baby together? That is not why y'all were here. So they talking about escaping. First of all, Y'all don't even know how y'all got there, let alone how y'all gonna escape. But Calico lets them know there ain't no escape in Area 51, okay? So don't even try. Just sit back and have your babies and just do that. Ain't no point in fighting. And I'm like, listen to Calico. She been here since the 60s. She knows a few things. So she was like, let me take y'all over here. So this is where I go to when I need to, you know, relax, relate, and relief. You know, having all these alien babies like three times a year. So she letting them know how the loon, the loon, the moon landing was fake. They was like, why are we going to just like, we need to reassure the American people. And in a way we can, you know, hey. We got all this technology. People are going to wondering where it came from. Let's fake the moon landing. She was working at a bar. And she look over. And who did she see? Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Now, we're going to pause right there. One time, I was watching Dancing with the Stars. And I was like, Mama, Buzz Aldrin going to be on there. And she looked. She looked weird. I said Buzz Aldrin, not Buzz like you're a star command. <laughs> My mama got I was talking about Buzz like you was gonna be on dance with the stars. And the look on her face was like, how you gonna do that? That's a little sad note, but these two at a bar, they supposed to be in space. Okay, so whoever was responsible for them being in space. Why ain't y'all have them somewhere in a secluded location? Why are these two just out and about? I don't care if y'all got old sunglasses and a trench coat. She recognized y'all. They get to telling all the business like, yeah, they doing this and we are gonna be going over here and doing it. Just telling all the business. I was like, see, you... Some people shouldn't know anything because they just spilling all the beans of what's going down. And they say, you know, Calico, she didn't got doggone abducted. She wake up all alone. I didn't have anybody like you did. I woke up alone. She walking around. She see the, like, the moon land instead of, they was talking about before that when they was talking to her. Yeah, he said one small step of man, one giant step for mankind. Whatever he said, y'all know what it is. Can't think of it right now. He's saying all what he was saying and all that other stuff. He's like, oh, okay. Good. When she got adept and woke up, she was like, what the heck is going on? Did that? They didn't die on it. You know, knocked her out. And it's time for her to have her baby. That baby looked like a human. I mean, it was a human, you know, alien, you know, combination. It looked like that alien on you know, Men in Black One. Oh, the first Men in Black, when, you know, she had the baby in the back of, you know, the car. Yeah, that's what I was getting. So, 
these two fools, the boyfriends, boyfriend who had just lost his baby, gets the bright idea. We gonna take your baby out of you. This is our baby. I'm pretty sure there's you no know, cameras everywhere. That's one. Okay, when y'all take the baby out, what y'all gonna do? Y'all can't leave. Y'all just being stupid at this point. Like, I don't know what's stupider. The dude who suggested it or the dude was gonna go along with it. Because he decides to give you a C-section without any medication. Well, that was stupid. See, he had the luxury of no pain. You know, that's what they did. No pain. And they used the laser on him. But you using some old, I don't even know what, what knife, scalpel, piece of glass. So they going to take this baby out? They're not going to ruin our family. This is our baby. This is not you baby. This is his baby. So, they get the baby out. Oh, the baby. What does the baby do? Doggone, it look like, what's it called, octopus? Octopus tentacles leaps on his mama's, oh, not his mama, on his daddy's face, about to kill him. See, this is what we're talking about. Y'all was being stupid. What made y'all... Y'all don't even know how this doggone hybrid baby was going to turn out. Y'all over there, this is our baby. They're not going to ruin our family. Now your boyfriend may be in the arms of the angels because you decided to take his baby out. He could have like passed out from like shock and all that stuff from you know, getting a C-section without any medication. But the moral of the story was these two are stupid. So if I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day for 99 Make sure your notifications are on so on my beautiful Facebook my video, you can click on it, you can like it, and share with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.